Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thanks for joining me. This is Morning Prayer for Thursday, March 26. It's the fifth week in Lent. And the scripture for this service, Psalms 131 and 132. And Jeremiah chapter 26, verse 1 to 16. And please join me in singing verse 4 of Psalm 95 to the tune of St. Columba. Now listen to God's voice today, and harden not your hearts, as in the desert long ago, when our forebears provoked God. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. O God, my heart is not haughty, nor my eyes lofty. Psalms 131 and 132. And please recite them together with me. O God, my heart is not haughty, nor my eyes lofty. Neither do I concern myself in great matters, or in things too high for me. Surely I have behaved and quieted myself like a child upon its mother's breast. My soul is content. Let Israel hope in God most high from henceforth and forever. Remember David and all his hardships, how he swore an oath to you and vowed a vow. Surely I will not come into my house, nor go up to my bed. I will not give sleep to my eyes, nor slumber to my eyelids until I find out a place for you, a dwelling for the mighty God of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel. We heard of the ark at Ephrata. We found it in the fields of the wood. We will go into your tabernacles. We will worship on our knees at your footstool. Rise, O beloved God, into your rest, you and the ark of your strength. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your saints shout for joy. For your servant David's sake, reject not your anointed. You have sworn an oath to David, of the fruit of your body will I set upon your throne. If your children keep my covenant, and my testimony that I shall teach them, their children shall also sit upon your throne forevermore. For you have chosen Zion, you have desired her for your dwelling. This is my resting place forever. Here will I dwell, for I delight in her. I will abundantly bless her and provide for her. I will satisfy her poor with bread. I will also clothe her priests with salvation, and her saints shall shout aloud for joy. And there I will make the horn of David to bud. I have ordained a lamp for my anointed. His enemies I will clothe with shame, but upon him shall his crown flourish. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now, and forever. Amen. O God, my heart is not haughty, nor my eyes lofty. A lesson from the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 26, beginning at verse 1. At the beginning of the reign of King Jehoiakim, son of Josiah of Judah, this word came from the Most High. Thus says the Most High, stand in the court of the Most High's house, and speak to all the cities of Judah that come to worship in the house of the Most High. Speak to them all the words that I command you. Do not hold back a word. It may be that they will listen, all of them, and will turn from their evil way, that I may change my mind about the disaster that I intend to bring on them because of their evil doings. You shall say to them, Thus says the Most High, If you will not listen to me to walk in my law that I have set before you, and to heed the words of my servants, the prophets, whom I send to you urgently. Though you have not heeded, 
then I will make this house like Shiloh. I will make this city a curse for all the nations of the earth. The priests and the prophets and all the people heard Jeremiah speaking these words in the house of the Most High. And when Jeremiah had finished speaking all that the Most High had commanded him to speak to all the people, then the priests and the prophets and all the people laid hold of him, saying, You shall die. Why have you prophesied in the name of Yahweh, saying, This house shall be like Shiloh, and this city shall be desolate without inhabitant? And all the people gathered around Jeremiah in the house of the Most High. When the officials of Judah heard these things, they came up from the king's house to the house of the Most High, and took their seat in the entry of the new gate in the house of the Most High. And then the priests and the prophets said to the officials and to all the people, This man deserves the sentence of death because he has prophesied against the city, as you have heard with your own ears. And then Jeremiah spoke to all the officials and all the people, saying, It is the Most High who sent me to prophesy against this house and this city, and all the words that you have heard. Now therefore amend your ways and your doings, and obey the voice of Yahweh your God, and the Most High will change his mind about the disaster that he has pronounced against you. But as for me, here I am in your hands. Do with me as seems good and right to you. Only know for certain that if you put me to death, you will be bringing innocent blood upon yourselves and upon the city and its inhabitants. For in truth, the Most High sent me to you to speak all these words in your ears. <clears throat> and then the officials and all the people said to the priests and the prophets, This man does not deserve the sentence of death, for he has spoken to us in the name of Yahweh our God. Here ends the lesson. And now let us pray for the church and the world. And please respond, hear us, tender God. For the mission of the church, that it may extend the peace and the love of Christ to all people, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For Don and Tom and Richard and Bill and Joe, and for all of our church leaders, for all clergy and ministers, that they may be ever faithful servants of your word and sacraments, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For our unity in the church, that our scandalous divisions may be healed, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the poor and the hungry and the thirsty, for the destitute and the unemployed, that we may share with them the riches of creation and free the world of poverty and famine, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For Barak and Joe and John, and for all the leaders of this nation, city, and state, and for the leaders of the nations of the world, that they may bring justice and peace in all the earth, we pray. Hear us, tender God. That God, who's begun this ministry, may bring it to fulfillment, we pray. Hear us, tender God. Rejoicing in the fellowship of Francis and Claire and all your saints, let us commend one another in all of our lives to Christ our God, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. We pray. Hear us, tender God. Together. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. 
Let us pray. O oh, beloved God, we thank you for your abundant blessings, salvation and righteousness, and bread to eat. We shout our joy in your dwelling and bless you forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus now and forever. Amen.